Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of magnets. I've placed this question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started. Davy was trying to turn Rod Z into a magnet by using the stroking method. She used a bar magnet with its north pole in contact with Rod Z as shown below. So the directions of the stroking movements are also represented by these two arrows here. Now, over here, she used the stroking method to try and make Rod Z into a magnet. However, she was unable to use this method to turn Rod Z into a magnet. So, which two of the following statements could be possible explanations? Let's look at the options now. A. Rod Z is not a magnetic material. Now, in order for Rod Z to become a magnet, can Rod Z be made of a non-magnetic material? No, Rod Z has to be a magnetic material. So, let's write down Rod Z must be a magnetic material material. And what are the magnetic materials? Steel, iron, nickel, cobalt. Hence, could this statement be a possible reason why we couldn't turn Rod Z into a magnet? Yes, maybe Rod Z was not a magnetic material. So this is a possible explanation. B. The bar magnet must be the same size as Rod Z. Does the bar magnet here have to be the same size as rod Z? As long as we stroke the rod made of a magnetic material with a bar magnet using the correct method, we can turn the rod into a magnet. Both do not have to be the same size. So this explanation is wrong. C. Davy should stroke rod Z with south pole instead. So in our diagram, we can see that Davy is using the north pole to stroke the rod. Is that wrong? No, as long as she uses the same pole, it doesn't matter whether north or south. So if she is using the north pole in this case, as long as she uses the north pole throughout the stroking, the rod will be able to become a magnet. So this explanation is wrong. It does not matter whether north or south as long as she uses the same pole throughout. D. The bar magnet stroked rod Z in more than one direction. If we look at the diagram, she's using the bar magnet to stroke the rod in how many directions? Yes, direction number one and direction number two. So there are actually two directions over here. Is this a correct method to stroke? No. She should use the same pole of the magnet to stroke the rod made of a magnetic material in how many directions? Yes, only one, not more than one. Since she stroked the rod in more than one direction, this could be the reason why rod Z couldn't turn into a magnet. So do take note, for the stroking method to work, we need to use, number one, a magnetic material. Number two, we need to stroke the magnetic material using the same pole of a bar magnet. Number three, we need to stroke it using the same pole of the bar magnet in only one direction. And lastly, we need to stroke the rod at least 20 to 30 times. So the possible explanations for this question would be A and D and therefore answer is number 1. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!